maturity stage metrics. At this stage, the pace of growth for the company becomes consistent. You would have exhausted your local markets and would be on the lookout for global markets and new sources of revenue. Simultaneously, the metrics you use would have evolved into complex combinations, and custom metrics would have taken up the space of your standard metrics. Every aspect of your growth and leakages would be analyzed and observed over cohort analysis. Let's take a look at the metrics that you will need to focus on at this stage. At this stage, a business should ensure that it is compliant with the local rules and regulations. At this stage, the company would be looking for investor funding, and gap compliance would be the first thing investors look for before investing in the company. According to accounting standards and ASC 606 in a subscription-based SaaS business, revenue should be accounted for when the service gets delivered to the customer based on their respective contracts. Gap gives a four-point structure to recognize and account for it. You can check out in an in-depth guide for revenue recognition here. To sum it up, recognize revenue is the amount the customer has made a booking for and the service provider has delivered according to the contract. Since the entire amount is not recognized immediately, businesses should be wary of accounting for services provided. As the teams grow, it becomes more critical to ensure that everyone moves towards a unified goal. Some of the metrics or KPIs your teams can look into to gauge where they are going are marketing metrics, cost per acquisition. While more visitors from advertisements are a good sign, one always needs to ensure there is a good return on investment for the spent. Conversion rate across various funnel stages. The funnel can be split into awareness, consideration, and conversion. The rate of conversion across these three stages says how well the messaging speaks to the audience. Qualified leads. It is more important to measure qualified leads than the total number of leads to get an accurate picture of the campaign success. Sales metrics. Revenue by territory, market, and product line. Segment and deep dive into revenue from different areas and analyze what goes right and wrong in them. Percentage of sales reps attaining 100% of their quota. Sales reps can be motivated with intrinsic and extrinsic motivators to achieve their quotas. Net Promoter Scores, NPS. NPS is a depiction of customer satisfaction. It tells you if your customer would recommend other people to use the product too. So far, we looked at metrics from the lens of the different stages of growth of a business. Let's spend some time looking at metrics according to the business's objective they will impact. Most of the metrics will fall under the categories acquisition, finance, retention, and revenue. 